got the invitation, I was definitely very excited. Um, Australia has a very special place in my heart. Um, it inspires me a lot. I love the culture, I love the people. You know, it's, it's just so friendly and amazing. And not just the produce, it also inspires oneself as a chef um, and its craft. But um, it's, it's again, you know, the atmosphere. And what's really special about it, it's not in a convention center. Not in an enclosed area, again it's, it's, it's an outdoor event. It's what I feel like I would get out of it was the great friendships, the philosophies from the amazing chef lineup. Um, I cannot wait to meet Dominic Cran, Anna Ross, like, I cannot wait to meet a lot of these chefs. Even, even the Rocker Brothers, when I spent a week with them last year, they were so fun. They knew how to have fun and I think this is what we're going to do. This time around, I'm going as a guest chef. I'll be doing um, a gala dinner with Ashley uh, Palmer from uh, Ashley Palmer, yeah, Ashley Palmer Watts uh, from London, and also two demonstrations. So I'll be doing two demos, and um, cannot wait to, to do that. So the criteria for me was to come over and showcase as much West Australian Australian produce as I could. So everything here, like the stalls from Esperance, the duck is fresh from Wayne, which is just down the road. The pineapple from Australia, um, the abalone is, is 40 minutes down the road from the restaurant, the blood orange is the time, the beetroot is grown by a grower down the Albany, the whole lot is basically, I bought everything over. Um, and look, the idea tonight when you taste the food is, it probably won't present as well as Janice's food, she's amazing, very particular. However, my, my um, idea is to, to really understand the flavours and the depth and taste, taste the flavours of the um, of where they grow, but like the biggest loss we have over there is we use the soil, things start on the ground. So we look after our vines, we look after the soil. We don't have good soil, nothing will grow. So my idea of food now is to go back to the producer and say, you must look after your soil. It's like we do with our soil for our wines. You can't produce something coming from bad soil, so everything grows from the bottom up. So this is why we get this beautiful thing like the beetroot, the cauliflower, and extra lemon, and then also the seafood, the cold of the water, the better your seafood. It's looked up, it's fresh, it's beautiful, so I think you're very fortunate tonight to taste. And of course, the truffle you're getting tonight is the last truffles that the pigs were dug up in Mar River or Manchima last week. So the truffle season has finished, you probably won't have the last truffle for this year, so there you go.